with another video for you guys, Team Casanova, and today we have 10 disgusting things women do that they don't want to admit. So what do you guys do, the females that's watching this video, what do you guys do that you guys don't want to admit, huh? Hmm. Let's go ahead and find out right now. Come on, ladies. It's time to fess up. Yes, it's time to fess up. Is out. Uh-oh, she about to expose y'all. For the females that's watching, she about to expose y'all. There is entirely too much focus and attention placed upon a woman's period. Jokes about that time of the month can typically carry sexist undertones and serve to poke fun at a natural process that, frankly, women can't uh -oh. know a lot about. I'm getting ready the for this. The menstrual cycle does have some pretty iffy moments, including cramps, bloating, okay. a tumultuous array of emotions, and some serious heavy-duty poops. Ah. Uh. Okay. Undergarment washing. Undergarment washing? It seems only sensible that one's dirtiest pieces of laundry would typically be those which lay directly connected to the person's, person's body. body. They may not be the items that others see first, but socks and underwear are some of the only clothing pieces that make their way into the hamper after each use. You'd think the same would be true of women's bras, but you'd be wrong. Many fancier bras come with the caveat of being hand wash only. That would seem to hand indicate wash? that they need to be cared for more than other items, but women will often hand wash them either carelessly or not at all. Oh. After all, it's just a bra, right? Caught y'all, and wash our bras, that really? Caught y'all. The hygiene <laughs> needs of guys are pretty consistent, meaning that the need for stuff like toothbrushes, razors, mm -hmm. and toilet paper is ongoing. That is mostly true for women too, okay. with the notable exception of monthly menstruation. Ah. They might know it's coming, but sometimes a woman just isn't prepared, <laughs> so they improvise. Jamming a wad of toilet paper inside the panties can sometimes serve as a suitable tampon replacement, with heavier flows requiring cotton balls or even a sock. You can even find yeah, you DIY sucks. videos online for inspiration. Okay. Sitting on vile toilet seats. Sitting on vile when toilet seats? When you gotta seat? go, you gotta go. Although the quality of many public restrooms is an unpleasant yeah. reality for all, the only time men really need to make any kind of skin contact is when going <laughs> in the ladies' room. Every trip means mm, that your <laughs> is coming into direct contact with a seat that has touched. Mm, that's why you put the little little pad thingy. So who knows what other substances? Even if women attempt to hover over the seat or pat it with toilet paper, yeah, that's odds what I'm are you will come in contact with something you'd rather not Ugh. sooner or later. Plus, there's all is that time you've had pee running down? Oh, uh, come on. Let come on. One rip. Given their outward expressive <laughs> yeah, pride, always, people always say they don't it's fart. It's easy to assume that men are the more prevalent gas passing gas. <laughs> but that assumption appears to be false. At the very least, both genders are equally adept at letting one rip, and if anything, it might be women who are the more predominant farters. Oh, y'all fart more than males. More I got you. Y'all ain't getting exposed. Y'all got exposed. And when a tampon is inserted, for example, the air has fewer outlets to use. But while our society is more widely exposed of man farts, women often feel compelled to escape to somewhere private when they feel one. <laughs> Fingernail use. use. Long nails is a gender-based social norm tied to women who will often adorn them with nail polish as a fashionable accessory. They also carry practical purposes, albeit more so when others aren't looking. Mm -hmm. Those long nails Whoa, are put to a nails. variety of different Whoa, uses, now. with back and head scratching being among them. But many women also use their nails to pop pimples, squeeze out blackheads, and even pick things out of their teeth. <laughs> Just remember, boy. That's not that bad, you know. You just you just using your nails to, to advantage, okay? So you may want to inquire as to where those nails have been. Oh yeah, unless you keep them dirty like that, then you might have a problem. Both guys <laughs> and girls have been known to habitually review their leavings in the toilet bowl following a bowel movement for different reasons. What you mean? While guys are primarily interested with what has been released from out back, girls are more preoccupied with number one. Whether it's inspecting your period remnants or hoping to avoid cloudy urine that could signal a urinary tract okay. infection, girls are able to learn a lot about their own body through one peek inside the throne. Okay. Tampon issues. Tampons are supposed to be the clean. We're gonna just stop it right there, okay? <laughs> you guys wanna watch the rest of the video? 
link is down in the description, you guys. I, I, I believe you guys got exposed enough, so I don't, I believe I need to, I don't need to watch this more. Yeah. So it looks like the lady just got exposed by another lady. So <laughs> I'm just playing anyway, guys. Let me know what you guys think of this video down below, and let me know to the ladies if this is some of these are true. Are some of these true, or was none of them true, or was all of them true? Let me know down below. Make sure you guys leave a like. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yeah!